On August 21st, the sky will go dark for a couple of minutes, but that doesn't mean California will. In the north part of the state, we'll have about 75% uh, eclipse. In the south part of the state, we'll have about 65%. But in a state like California, with a tremendous amount of solar photovoltaic panels in place, that means that the moon will actually come between the sun's rays and those panels. And then on a day like today here in San Francisco, when you have things that, that obscure the sun, then you get less solar power. So how much power are we talking about? Solar energy accounts for about 1.4% of the electricity generated in the U.S. An estimated 1.4 million Americans rely on solar power. During the August 21st eclipse, the moon will block out the sun for a maximum of 2 minutes and 40 seconds. We expect to get about 3.5 gigawatts less solar power than we otherwise would that time of the day. 3.5 to 4 gigawatts is the equivalent of two nuclear power plants at peak capacity. So that's a lot of electricity. And again, we have a lot of other resources, but what do we do as individuals to avoid having to rely on dirty natural gas peakers? The CPUC isn't expecting problems and doesn't think the eclipse is a power issue, calling it instead an opportunity. The Public Utilities Commission has put together a website asking people to make a pledge to cut the sun some slack and turn off power for just a couple of hours. But what we're saying to Californians is there's something you can do so that we don't have to spin up those inefficient and polluting um, natural gas peakers. You can do one thing and step in for the sun for that two hour period between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Just unplug your phone charger. Turn off your, your computer if you're not using it. Power down all those power strips. These simple things all add up.